Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to play multi-disc games on PCSX2. So for PlayStation 2 there aren't actually that many multi-disc games but there are a few out there and if you get to a bit in the game where it wants you put to put in disc 2 it is actually really simple. So I'm going to, I've got Metal Gear Solid 3, I'm just going to launch up disc 1 so I'm just going to do a quick fast boot and I'm going to turn the volume down just so you can hear me. Okay, so I'll leave the screen small as well, that's fine. And obviously th this is on the assumption that you've already got PCSX to set up, whether that's on Windows, Linux or on Mac if you are on a compatible Mac OS. And this video is not condoning piracy, this assumes that you own the game and you know assumes that you own the console as well. So as you can see, it says Metal Gear Solid 3 subs Subsist subsistence and disk one subsistence. Uh, so, so if we press start, takes us to the menu. I don't know actually at what bit the game asks me for disk two. I don't think it's in the special stuff. I don't believe it is. So if I press start, it's in, but there. Uh, if we go to special so obviously it's not in here but if you get to a bit where he asks you for another disc all you have to do is press escape that basically pauses it because there's a resume option but what you want to do is go to cd c dvd go to iso selector and either browse or select the next disc or whatever disc it's asking for so imagine if it's asking for disc 2 click that then you'll get this pop-up you have selected the following iso image and this is the important part. Do you want to swap disks or boot the new image via system reset? Don't click reset, but if you do, this will essentially reload, you know, the PlayStation 2, uh, you know, theoretically and reload the game. So this is great if you are swapping one game for another game without turning the original game off. But what we want is to click swap disk. That's been swapped now and if i go to resume so you want to go to resume not reboot resume as you can see we are where we left off obviously if we was in the in a game where it's asking for the second disc or the third disc potentially then it would detect that you've got the next disc in and run it from there so that is it that is how you play multi-disc games if you come across you know any while you are playing like i said they are rare they aren't that many i think there might even be less than 10 in total and if you come to a bit in the game where it requires you to actually do the swap as well so that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video